Bill. Good morning. I've got this thing worked out now. They rather think that we don't want to have any publicity on the big mission because it would cause a Hume to have to explain to Congress, uh, to Commons, that he hadn't changed his policy. And it just ought to go on the basis that uh, Tyler's going to be there and you're going to other places, uh, but they ought to arrange these meetings and that you ought to uh, certainly hit Paris and London pretty hard, possibly Greece a little bit on our Cyprus problem. But uh, Vance is going to meet with Tyler today, and you, any time you three can get together and see what these countries are doing that they could stop. I hit Butler pretty hard on it this morning. Uh, I told Rab Butler that uh, uh, he was talking to us about Yemen and uh, what he wanted us to do and so forth, and I said, well, uh, we just, by God, uh, don't want to be open to this charge that our friends are selling anything to Cuba. Nixon's running around over the country raising hell. You just uh, find some way to avoid it. So he's heard it loud and clear, and he's taking it back to him. But uh, what I would like very much for you to do, and the Secretary of State and the Secretary of Defense, would be let us send the plane and uh, you take Tyler not take Vance because that blows it up a little bit to the kind of a military mission. And if they had to say they had to continue to sell, well, then it looked like we had a failure of a mission. Whereas if you went in privately and quietly, you could get them to reduce it and it'd be a success. Go to Paris, go to London. I haven't talked to Rusk about it, but I would think he probably ought to go to uh, Greece and talk to their prime minister. And, uh, t talk to him not only about shipping but about Cyprus and tell him not to overplay his hand there now. And see if you can do any good with him, then come back and we'll make a second trip to Tokyo. Um, you know, one thing bothers me is our mutual friend Dick Russell. Now, uh, I. Would it be possible for, you know what he's going to say. I think you know what he's going to say. Yeah. I'm being taken away because of the uh, Well, I wouldn't do that. You're going to be away anyway. Well, on. It's only going to be a couple of days. Well, well you won't have to be but a couple more. I understand what I mean is not to. I don't want him to think I'm doing it because I wouldn't do it to that at all. And I don't know when it's going to be. And no, I'm not objecting to it. What I just about my relations with him, you know there. Yeah. You know what I mean. Well, I don't want to cause that. I'd rather lose the government than to have you and Dick falling out. And I don't want to be charged with being the instrument for trying to get a vote away because I'm not doing that at all. I don't well, want to I do that. I don't think you are either. I was going to be away, but only see over the weekend. I was. Well, uh, I'm going to have to tell Dick. I can't just go off. Well, I don't want him saying that I'm trying to plot, though, to beat him this way. Don't you tell him. Well, tell I, what I'd do is just tell him I was going to go, go over the weekend and that you've got to you've got to make a couple of extra stops and you'll be back on the, for him to figure out what day that he needs you. And, uh, well, the paper says they're about to have a poacher boat. I mean, I, uh, I've got, I've got, I can't just go off and leave him. You know, say well, that's right. But I don't want you to leave him blaming me because I re I'd resign before I'd hurt his feelings. I agree. I don't want you to, but you can see the possibilities the way yeah. that the least important the yeah. paper is building up. If that uh, closure book comes while I'm away, you know, it might make quite a difference the way I understand this thing. Now, personally, if I've got a good excuse, uh, I'm not going to cry about that. I like on the other hand, I, I don't want him to think this, but I'm just asking your advice. You know him well or better than I do. I'd tell him that I was going on this trip, that I'd planned it a long time and not to have his cloture vote the day you're gone, and that you've got to go to Paris and London. It'll take you one day there. Yeah. And uh, that uh, you've got to go, where was it? You going to Geneva? No, I, I'm first going to the uh, Hague. That's yeah. the first speech. It's the 15th anniversary of the exchange program. You see, yeah. they asked me a long time ago. And to Denmark, that's the 50th yeah. anniversary of the, the Denmark-America Association, which was the first uh, exchange program, one of the first, uh, started 50 years ago, you see, before ours did. 
that was what's been said for a long time, and I would uh, have been back on, uh, on the Tuesday. This will probably take that week. Now, I, uh, I've got to tell him I can't just leave town and not show up, I think, with it. I don't think that'd be right. No, no, I'd tell him, but I wouldn't tell him that Johnson's called me because he'll think it's a trick. Well, that's what I just what I was afraid So I just tell him that I was going to have to have these two speeches, and then I'd sandwich one day in these others if I could. If I didn't, well, I will give it up, go some other time. But uh, I just thought it would help. Uh, I thought number one, it would ma make it easier for you to make your trip. And you can make it quicker and more comfortable. Well, no number doubt. two, I thought it would give you a, a little uh, participation in what was really happening. That was awfully important, and I thought you. You, with your good offices, could uh, have some influence. I think if you were a good salesman, talk a little tough, uh, I think that it uh, could cause them to close things down from now to the end of the year and make us easier to beat Nixon. And uh, God knows, you know, I'm all for that. Uh, I don't want to embarrass you, God knows at all. Uh, I'm not so concerned about my own thing, other than Dick's relationship. Is he silly? statements and, you know, no backs and others that, you know, that I was uh, going to trade my vote on. Yeah, yeah, state. yeah, that's... Well, goddamn press will find out I'm gone, and you, this is what I am anticipating, and I hope that you uh, minimize that. That's really what all I want to do And you know damn well I don't want to be Secretary of State and, and all that, but uh, uh, I just don't want them to say that either that well, I'd be awfully careful. I don't think I'd tell him that I was going to do this administration stuff because he'll think it's a slick trick of Johnson's. That's just I, what I'm afraid of. That's what I'm afraid of. I, 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 I just tell him about the other two, and uh, if uh, if he doesn't want you to go, then yeah, that's your decision. I don't know what I'd do. But... Uh, uh, well, I, I'm so committed. Hell, they've got the, the whole thing set up. My God, that ambassador is taking us this far further. I've got to change it. They want me to do the queen and all that crap. You know, these, these people are going to take this exchange very seriously. And Bill Blair up at the Copenhagen is a very similar program. And I, I just positively, I don't care if I did miss it. I can't, uh, can't back out on those. It's not likely. There. The only problem is it's been taking out the whole week to practice the problem. And I just didn't want this to happen. Well, I just tell Russell I had these two speeches and how long it's going to take you and tell him to arrange his schedule accordingly. And if he needs your vote, why, he better do his talking. If he doesn't, why, uh, I can't afford to let him talk me out of the other. I can't be yeah. talked out of that. That's right. So, well, uh, now I wouldn't mention ours because he'll think ahead. And uh, well, uh, then, you know what I mentioned is one thing: what the damn press is going to say is another. Yeah. Uh, we can't, you can't go into these places without being picked up. The press. Is just, uh, well, I just say I paid a courtesy call on the prime minister and the president. That's all I do. Just said I was here. And, I have to make these speeches and just pay the courtesy call because if you go in for this purpose, they'll all have to deny immediately they can do anything. It has to be secret because it's almost like uh, going into Normandy because uh, Butler and, uh, and Hume will have to come out and say, hell no, we're not going to agree not to do any shipping. On the other hand, you can get an agreement out of them to c curtail it practically to nothing. And you can show them what we're cutting down, uh, the exchange that we've got. And uh, uh, Cy Vance and, and uh, this fellow, be, uh, Tyler, be ready to go over it with you this afternoon. And I got to speak, Lennon. They just well, where I got to speak on this damn thing. This is my day. I'll do it in the morning. Do it tomorrow. Do it. Call them. Tell one of your secretaries. Call them. Tell them to come to your office at 10 o'clock in the morning or whatever time you can agree. Yeah, I've, I've just given notice. See, this is my day. Yeah. We've got a meeting in the Senate, the Southern Senate, at 2.30. And uh, right after that, when it's over, I'm going to have to tell him this, because I don't want to make my own speech. This is a kind of embarrassing thing for me, as you know, God damn it, I'm never very enthusiastic.
asked about. I know it. I know it. I know it. Jesus Christ, I'm really over a barrel on this thing. I wish the hell I could boat with you. You know that. I know that. I know it. And uh, I, I hope the hell I can get this thing out of the way. But I, 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 I feel like a traitor, you know, to my Arkansas had all these damn people from the Chamber of Commerce here last night. About three hundred of them and all this stuff. John McClellan makes a round of speech about the civil rights bill. I ain't a damn word about it. You know, it puts me in hell. Sure does. I know it does. Well, I guess. Uh, the only thing that really concerns me is my relations with Dick. That's what really bothers me. The fact is, uh, I am out of the country and they had a vote as far as my constituency. I said, well, hell, I was on some business, but Dick, he's a little different from my constituency. That connection, I'm off the straight of what his connection going be. <laughs> well, you just, uh, I'm like Sam Goldwyn with you and Dick. I love him so much, and you too. I include me out. <laughs> That ain't easy with it. I know it, but I've got to do it. And you, you, uh, don't you let me ask you to do anything or to interfere with him. But if you're going anyway, I sure I want to make it a little more comfortable, give you a little sense of, uh, of uh, really helping do this thing. And I think with these two men giving you some support there, that when you went in that you could lay it on the line, I think you could stop this trade until we get rid of Nixon. That's my judgment. Well, I, I want to do anything I can to help you. You call them in the morning, and you handle Russell yourself. Yeah, hell of a wonderful job. You. I, and I'm telling you, just from a bunch of Arkansas, you, you know, they're not the most forward-looking people in the world. They're good people, but uh, they, your speech in the Chamber of Commerce really did a job. I, you, you, that was just the right approach. Couldn't have done it better. Thank you, Bill. Now, yeah. I know this. I talked to a hell I spent all last night and his lunch. You call a bunch of them, and then uh, uh, you call these two fellows in the morning, get together, and then I'll talk to you before you leave. Okay, bye. Waiting. <laughs>